uh, as I suck down my 32 ounce. My, it's funny. I walk in. My cousin says, you get a 40? It's like, no, no, no. Then I pulled it out. And he said, well, I remember you got the you got the backwards hat on, the Maryland jersey. I thought you were, I thought you were just, thought you were just slinging it up with, with the 40. Just was, killing an OE. What you got in my 40, homie? Um, sweeping the sports world by storm. Uh, news came out yesterday. <clears throat> I don't know who dropped it. Likely ESPN. Uh, came straight from the commissioner's office. This is a proposed uh, or likely to be proposed 2022 uh, playoff changes in Major League Baseball. Okay. Uh, you guys, I'm sure, have heard about it, maybe even read a little bit about it. I'm going to give you the rundown, and I think I already know what you two clowns are going to say, but that's okay. It's like the, a lawyer says, don't ask a question you don't know the answer What's to. This guy. What an so asshole. Right? You guys are predictable. It's okay. okay. That's what makes you keep oh, no, I- all right, this I want to hear what your prediction is after you do the rundown, but go ahead. My go prediction ahead, to Mr. what? 32 ounce to Modelo. what we're going to say. <clears throat> okay, fine. Fair enough. Um, what'd you call me? Mr. 32 Mr. ounce Modelo. 32 ounce. That's all right. It's a term of endearment. Um, so they're going to be increasing uh, each league's uh, playoff teams from currently uh, five to seven. Okay. So it's going to be, uh, t- it was 10 teams in all of Major League Baseball get into the playoffs under the new system. It'll be uh, it'll be fourteen, it'll be three division winners and four wild card teams. The team with the best record in each league advances advances to the divisional round. After that, you have two division winners and four wild card teams. The remaining team with the best record will then pick which team they will play as they host a best of three series. The next team, the next division winner, will pick uh, the remaining two out of the remaining two to host a three game series. And then the wild card team with the best record will play the team that was not selected. Um, selected selections will be unveiled Sunday night after the final games, likely to be in some stupid survivor type thing. Uh, the current collective bargaining agreement ends after next next year, 2021. So this can't go into uh, effect. Then likely to get a strong push from the commissioner's office, maybe even the owners because it means more revenue. Uh, Trevor Bauer's quote, or excuse me, his tweet was pretty telling when he said uh, that to Rob Manfred, he said, I don't know if you came out with this, but you publicized it. So therefore, this is directed towards you. The amount of things that I can that I can be critical about this are just too many to name. It's idiotic, stupid, blah, 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 blah. But there you have it. That's the nuts and bolts. If you have any questions, let me know. I know it's a lot to digest. But oh, and then you guys want my prediction? Yeah, 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 yeah. I would like that. Yeah. Okay. I think you guys love it. Like, yeah, more. Give us more. I don't. Oh, all right. I do not like it. No, at all. I, I hate it. One hundred percent hate yeah, it. Yeah, it's See, too this is, much. Yeah. No, listen. Last time it's because the XFL. Al and I were jazzed about some new rules. Yeah. But it's, XFL is a whole different league. It doesn't have a storied history. Major League Baseball has the most storied history of any sports franchises or leagues or anything. In the in the United States of America, can't go fucking with that. You're messing up records when you do that. I hate everything about this. Um, I would actually like. I don't know. I do think the wild card, what where they have it right now, is great. Yeah, I like it. Let it sit. Let it play out. I like it. What's wrong with this? You like the the one game winner take all. Yeah, you do. Yes. Okay. See, I, I actually I almost want two rounds of winner take all. I think that I I don't know like I. Shortened series, I feel like it makes the game have more weight. If there's more interest, you're tuned in. Like, okay, when there's seven game series, I might tune out the first couple games just because it doesn't matter that much. And then, you know, that's when the drama starts to build. So the less games, the shorter the series, the more drama. So telling me you're going to give me more, eh, it takes it. It adds less to me. I don't. I don't know where you're getting this less. Fewer, a fewer game series means more drama because I, like each game means that much more. You can get just as much drama out of a seven game series or a best of seven series than you can a best of five. <clears throat> yeah, but I get what he's saying for like the person who's not a diehard baseball fan. Like games one through three are you know a wash. Okay, basically. So what you, you know what I mean? So this is more. This is more of a we're. we're uh, adhering to the shortest attention span slash millennial group that aren't <coughs> aren't aren't, uh, aren't baseball fans. Well, I mean, let's no. go ahead. I, I feel like they're 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 trying to reward bad teams. They're trying to make it so that people in cities who haven't had a chance to compete in some amount of time 
Like they have more of an opportunity for their team to make it. So you're trying to make more markets care about the playoffs, but then everybody else cares less. So I feel like it'll be a wash at the end of the day as far as the ratings are concerned. Like this may be unpopular, but if you're trying to introduce parity into the league, then introduce salary cap. Don't let the Yankees buy their and the Dodgers and the Red Sox buy their teams like they have been forever. Well, there is some some truth to that because uh, the amount of teams that are going into the luxury tax since the last CBA was agreed upon in 2018, it's it, teams are adhering to it now. The problem with that is, is that <clears throat> there's teams that aren't even sniffing that. Yeah, you have your Tampa Bay's in the world, but that's too bad. Too bad. I, I don't. I I don't think you need a hard salary cap. I think the luxury tax has taken care of the just buying every every player, buying every free agent. The, <clears throat> the you know when when it seemed like the Yankees and or for a brief period the Red Sox were do, were doing that, and they still do. Um, well, like, yeah, they just do it once a year instead of three of them a year. I mean. Right in five years is are those teams still not stacked? Like, uh, well, he, okay. Like, here was and I went because I thought I I was going to do counter arguments because I thought you guys were going to agree with this. Uh, <laughs> so with this, with this new, uh, <laughs> dude, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Um, <laughs> here, like, just for pretend, what was one of your counter argument questions? Yeah, the longest playoff droughts of teams because you would said teams aren't getting in as frequently. Yeah, and here's the, the longest playoff droughts. Okay. The, the first two are pretty substantial. All right, I'm <clears throat> not exactly concerned with that. After that. Mariners, two thousand one. Okay, well they should just make it. That, <laughs> there, that's a decent market. Like, come on, do better. They do better. Okay, uh, Marlins, their uh, World Series championship in two thousand three. I think we kind of understand the the, the painstake of that organization. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, professional sports in Florida. Uh, it's kind of sucks, right? In ge- yeah, and that means you've speaking. won a World Series in the last, you know, decade and a half. So kiss my ass, yes, I'm an Orioles fan. True. It's, and it's another hard. one, in, it, it hurts. Another one in '97. Uh, Padres in '06, White Sox in '08, Phillies in 2007. After that, there's not a single team who hasn't had more than a six-year drought, uh, even under the current system in 2012 when they went to the two-team wild card. I will say I'm over the one-game wild card. Um, I'm over it after about four years of the winner take all wild card game. Uh, I didn't want any more. <clears throat> I think if you want to place an emphasis on it being difficult for the wild card team to get out, you do a three game, uh, you do a three game wild card for okay. for the wild card teams. A three game winner take all or not winner take all three game series the Monday after the last game of the season. So it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Okay, and those teams it, it fucks your pitching rotation up. You put in a lot more to win, <clears throat> uh, win a three game series. Uh, your bullpen might might not uh, might be spent, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then they play the divisional round starting Thursday. That's fair. That, that's what I think. And I wouldn't even be ki- killed if they dropped it to 154 games. I used to be like, no, you can't fuck with the records, man. Can't fuck with the numbers. It's already been blown up. People are stealing signs and banging trash cans. Yeah, People true. are injecting vitamin B12 into the rear ends. Yeah, it wasn't vitamin B12. It was fucking. <laughs> <clears throat> it was uh, Ben Johnson steroids. Just eating lizards, whole lizards. <laughs> eating I lizards. All, t- all types of crazy shit. Spraying deer antler spray in their taints. Yep, specifically in the taint. <laughs> right in there. Yeah. That's where you get the best absorption. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, so let, let's play a let's let's play a scenario on this. If there's if if it's proven to the players and now you have you have. I'm not saying Trevor Bauer speaks for the players. I'm not mm-hmm. saying he's, he he speaks for himself. Uh, there may be others who feel like him, but <clears throat> if it's if the league is able to convince both players and both owners that this is more re- revenue generating, is there any way that they, it gets turned down the next CBA? Mm, I mean, if if that happens, no. <laughs> you know, I would think not. Right. But is it really more revenue? Gen- I mean, I guess because there's more shit on TV and more. You know, well, what, what the idea is, and I don't know if this is true, but um, with the whole selecting the the uh, eight, uh, six, twelve of your twelve of your fourteen teams are in a three game series, uh, relatively quickly. You know, best two out of three, mm-hmm. um, and that that'll get, that'll garner the attention of of your. A distant fan, or you know, someone who's a fringe watches a little bit of television, yeah. be like, "Oh, we got all this shit going on." I, <clears throat> I don't know. I mean, I, I 
Uh, I don't like it. I hope they don't do I, it. Yeah, well, I don't uh, like the pick your. T- oh, let's pick our opponent. That's just that's yeah. Just like that gets stupid. Who picks league, it, man? Is that, it the manager? Is it the team? Is it? I think the, like the, maybe the GM and the, the, GM. And the team and the manager. Who like you mean? Who goes up and does like the? Yeah, <clears throat> you're on the board. Who cares? It's it's definitely a team decision. It's definitely done by the manager. You say and GM. that, but like, fucking. You could get a, a Redskin. You could get a fucking Dan Snyder type owner being like, nah, we're going to fucking take them. You know what I mean? And that shit could be kind of crazy. Yeah. Now it would be entertaining, but it would also make baseball absolutely preposterous. Maybe. And they would make it very WWE like. They'd be like, mm, nah. If that's the case, maybe they do it this way. You have owner, you have GM, you have manager, uh-huh. and then you have super fan. Yeah, someone who mm. enters a raffle, or or, and you become a twenty five percent. What if they do it like super fucking like NFL drafty, and like uh, when your team's on the clock, like a f- super fan comes up and like hits uh, like a, a lightly thrown baseball from one of the team's stars, like a gender reveal, <laughs> and then they hit it, and fucking oh, colored God. powder comes out, and that's who that team selects. That's good television. That's. <clears throat> when I fucking kill myself. What do you got, Mark? <laughs> no, I, no, I, I kind of, I mean, a hybrid of your super fan, but I think that now you've opened up for a uh, team hype man to be hired by each organization yes. to come out and, and do the, the, like, the spit the fire, if you will. Yeah. Like, why they are picking that team. Like a, like a Flava Flav. <laughs> Every team gets their own Flava Flav to come out and throw down and, you know, this is why we're going to be beaten. Down the Tampa Bay Rays, <laughs> you know, like I don't know what the, I don't have much fire to spit at the Tampa Bay Rays, but I can imagine someone like Flavor Flav could spit the Flav. I wonder what the league's <clears throat> thought is. Is it just good television to pick, or do they think that there are teams that okay for the most part you're going to take the wild card that has the 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 you would think logically that if you have first pick you take the wild card team or whatever playoff team has the worst record. Yeah, logically, but there may be some sort of decision making that says like, "Wow, we didn't do we too hot against them in the race. Did we match yeah. up better against this team, yeah. that, or we have a better shot at them in a three game versus a seven game?" I, I don't know. I don't know if that's if all those come things come into play in the Major League Baseball. Then, well, we'll just we'll just we haven't gotten it right, so we'll put it on the team to pick it. Yeah, that just seems weird. Yeah, <laughs> it's like I, um, I always thought of uh, real world real world versus road rules. Yeah, they like do all the picking and shit. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't, yeah. That'd be strange. It'd be, like... It'd be mad strange. Mad real. Mad real. <laughs> so, yeah, what God. if, like, other day, like, teams are calling other teams up, and it's like, yo, take these motherfuckers. Like, you know mm. what I mean? Like, what if there's collusion? A scandal. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how you... How you collude. Yeah. You know? I think I think then if... I think then you have to go to the super fan hitting into dust-filled, dust-filled objects. Dust-filled and, yeah. Yeah, on a tiny like basketball style field, I would imagine that would occur. Uh, <laughs> but, but I I don't like your idea of having another three game series though. I don't. I I I feel like the wild card, the way it's set up now with that one and done game, mm-hmm. because the reason here's my whole thought with the wild card <clears throat> team is when they got originally when it was just the one wild card team, I didn't feel like they necessarily deserved to go play a series against the team that actually earned it under the old system. Yeah. So that's why I do like that one and done like okay you got this far don't fuck it up here you go yeah here's your chance you want to be in the playoffs yeah see yeah my my counter to that is that i think in a three game best of three best of three series especially when you're playing three at at the team the wildcard team has the best records home field or you know uh, home stadium that if it at a minimum it's going to go to maximum it's going to go three games if it goes three games, you can really screw up a starting rotation on a bullpen. You can throw yeah. things for a major tailspin. And for them to go Thursday night to a well-rested team who's going to throw their ace and their gunner right out the gate, I, I, I think that that puts a wild-card team at a disadvantage. Well, what if the wild-card team had to play the next night? Like, didn't matter who it was. They got the schedule set up to where, like, all right, it's one and done, but if you win, you're going to a – you don't even know what city you're getting on the bus or the plane to go to because they're picking then? you. Yeah, well, they 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 do have. At the very least, there's a day off. I think they do. They I think they stagger it. I think they go. American League goes Tuesday. National League goes Wednesday, 
And then the divisional round of the opposite league starts when the wild card's being played. Yeah. So, yeah, you get days off. But that, I wouldn't mind that. I would think that's a better – yeah, you play Monday in a one-game one, one game winner take all. Yeah, and then the team that earned their way into the actual real playoffs, like they're off to watch the teams that are trying to compete to play against them. Yeah. And then like, all right, that's their day off. But the team that just played doesn't get a day off. They got to go right into a real series. Right. I don't know. I, the super fan and all that stuff, you guys have kind of kind of convinced me. I think it might be a good idea. <laughs> See? Might, it might, <laughs> you might as well just do it. Do it at Radio City Music Hall. We'll see. Uh, I just know the Orioles aren't going to be getting in this year or next. So maybe this will be right in our wheelhouse. The 2022, 2022 season. It will sneak in there. That's right.